call all him like Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechakodash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means he is or he exists. Ba'ezin Ha'ezda Sham is name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which means he saves or he delivers. When you call upon your Lord and Savior, you must say Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, Shalom, Wachasal Lahabachior, which is peace and mercy to the elect. I'm your fellow servant, Tam Yadia. I represent the GMS branch here in Cleveland, here to feed the elect of the nation of Israel. Out of one, Ratazah, but now Ratazah, this is an edifying lesson. <clears throat> and, um, this is just going to you know, filter this article through the scriptures, right? Um, because this is an indication of the times that we're living in and, and what times are we living in. We're living in a time of war. We're so to Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. It's a time and a place for everything, right? Just like they had that article in the New York Times which says it's time to, you know, eat people. We're in a time of war, pursuant to the scriptures, right? And you Edomites, y'all are greatly despised, pursuant to the book of Obadiah, man. You are insignificant. No, hey, all, all, The nations are angry. And why are the nations angry? Because you pushing your democracy on these different foreign countries, man. China already told you that Taiwan... Right was was a, 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 a province of China, if you will, man. Okay, so everybody hates you, Edomite. Why? Cause you're a proud man. Neither keep it at home. So you don't stay your fucking. You don't stay at your house, man. Right, with, with the house that you stole from the Israelites, America. You need to, you need to stay out the fucking way, man. You need to stay in the house. You know, like I said, the house that you stole from the Israelites. Pursuant to the book of, uh, I'm thinking of Habakkuk, the second chapter, man. Scripture says uh, uh, he transgressive by wine. So you pushing your philosophy and your democracy. That's what makes these heathens hate you because they got their own beliefs. They don't want to believe in fucking Jesus. That's why over there in China, them Christians, the ones who believe in Cesare Borgia, the, the, the white Jesus, right? The peck of wood, man, they got to do that shit on the ground. They can't, if, 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 if the Chinese government get wind of that shit, they going to come in. You know what I'm saying? They will come and fucking persecute their ass and put them in prison. And they should. Right? So, pursuant to Habakkuk, the seventh, second chapter, starting at the fifth verse, the scripture says what? Uh, 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 he a transgressive by wine. Your wine is your philosophy and your ideology, your democracy, man. Okay? Says he's a proud man, neither keep it at home. You you always in, you a busybody, you eat of mites, man. Going to and fro on the earth, walking to and fro on the earth, man. Your, with your mouth spread, oh, right, deceiving the nations. Okay? Scripture says of Revelations 18, uh, 11 and 18, and the nations were angry. See, these nations, they had enough of your shit, Esau. Okay? Sh -sh 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 go. I'm doing something. You know, these nations, they basically had enough of your shit, you Edomites, man, you know? And and, and I'm going to say this, with this whole situation, man, look, the scripture talk about, right, uh, Revelations, um, what is that, Revelation 11, 14, the second war is passed, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. Yes, the third woe is coming, but before the Heavenly Father uh, um, muster up the host of the battle, pursuant to Isaiah the 13th chapter, is certain other prophecies that gotta come to pass, man. Jacob's trouble. You niggas gotta get in trouble. And, and, and you better believe the scripture says none of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. These prophecies are not gonna fail. They're not gonna disappoint, man. They're not gonna disappoint the elect. They're gonna disappoint everybody else, two thirds of our people and the rest of the heathens, but the elect, they're not gonna disappoint or let us down, man. Okay? <laughs> You know, so it's prophecies that have to come to pass, like the mandatory implementation of the tiny technology, man, the the karagma, the collapse of the dollar, okay, a uh, 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 famine, uh, pe well, famine, pestilence, you know, it's certain prophecies that have to come to pass, man, okay, and like I said, man, these it, 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 we're in a time of war, man, we're in a time of war. Right, and the scripture talk about um when you when you go into the prophecies of how the war go take place. The scripture said the least of the flock shall draw them out. So it's gonna be something that these Amalekites do that push everybody to the brink of. I mean, that um ignite that 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 fuels to World War Three, man. Pursuant to the prophecies, man. So the least of the flock gonna draw everybody into what the Valley of Jehoshaphat. All right, Yahweh Shapat, man, in the Middle East, man. Right. And the Heavenly Father going to leave a mountain of troops. Okay? 
You know, see, this is one of the last prophecies that's going to take place, man, b before our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, return, man, th that World War Three, the war in heaven, right? You know, war in heaven. See, that's the spirit because all these things have to take place pursuant to the book of 2nd Ezra 13th chapter. They're going to leave off and fight one another. Now, they're going to get into those, they're going to get into altercations and, 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 and and try to subdue the man that came out to sea, which is talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Mashiach, when he's coming out of the Shemayim, the heavens, man. All right? You know? One realm against another, the scriptures scripture speak about, man. You know? So these, 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 this is, let me read some of this, man. Nancy Pelosi has landed in Taiwan for a controversial visit to the self-ruled island, offering unwavering commitment to supporting this democracy has already high intentions with China escalate. The U.S. House Representative S Speaker's plane landed on Songshan Airport in Tapia about 10.45 p.m. local time on Tuesday. She was greeted by Foreign Minister Joseph Wu <clears throat> and U.S. Representative of Taiwan Sandra Udekirk and is expected to meet the President Tsai Ing wen on, on Wednesday morning. And see, this is just a rumor of war pursuant to the scriptures, man. This is a rumor of war. This is just a report, man. Right? Because like I said, it's got to be martial law. Right? One people one people fighting against another with swords in their hands. These things got to happen, man. It's got to be a fucking a pandemonium in the streets of America before that war kicks off, man. Okay? So you better believe whatever the situation that, 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 that you know, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going to cease. It's going to calm down. It's going to calm, right? This is uh, uh, Matthew 24 and verse 6. It says, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So that's what this is. This is a rumor of war, man, right? Okay. Let's see what the word rumor goes into. Shalaki. And this is a quick lesson. I pray that it's out of fine. Uh, rumor, it says, a hearing. The act, the sense of one thing heard, audience, ear, fame, which ye heard, hearing, preach, report, right? Hearsay, report, rumor. So that's what this is, man. This is a report of war, man, okay? But it says, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, right? This is not the end all be all, man. Right? The end is going to be when our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, return, pursuant to 2nd Ezra the 13th chapter. And he's going to whack stronger and stronger, man. Okay? All right? And that's where you get the war in heaven in Revelation the 12th chapter around the 7th verse, man. And there was war in heaven. The devil and his angel and Michael and his angels, man, pursuant to the scriptures. Okay? So that war in heaven is going to take place. Once all the prophecies of the Heavenly Father be manifest and fulfilled on the planet Earth, man. You know? So this shit with Nancy Pelosi, man, look. And this just, um... And the, and the military, China ain't worried about America's military. They having fucking drag shows at Langley Air Force Base, man. They ain't worried about no fucking... This, this, this military, the scripture talk about, um... Oh, what is that? Um, I'm thinking of Isaiah, the 19th chapter that said, uh, the heavenly father have mingled a perverse spirit, right? It a mystery, man. Perverted, to bent, twist, distorted spirit, man. You got motherfuckers in the army. And then the nigga, he joined the army just so he could support his drag habit, man. That's the only reason he joined the army, man. You think niggas won't give a fuck about getting a dishonorable discharge if they about to get deployed to fucking one of these countries, man? China ain't worried about it. What other army out of all these heathens that 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 do shit like this, man? None of them, man. You know, so that's why I script that's why I quoted the scripture in Obadiah, thou are greatly despised, meaning what? You're insignificant and you you hate it. You eat them like everybody hates you, man. Right? Nobody likes you. Okay? So it says, um, let me keep reading. It said, but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines. Right. So the famines have to be 
on a large scale, man, to the point where people have be lining up in lines, man, to get food from the government, man. Like they show you on these different, you know, movies or, you know, TV series, man. It says, and, uh, and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, all of these are the beginning of sorrow. So this is just the beginning, man. This is the beginning of the end, you know? So, yeah, this was just a quick quick lesson I wanted to touch on this. You know, I pray this was edifying. I give all glory on the praises of Allah. Allah, Yahweh, 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 Shai, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Double honesty, Apostle Elder Great Millstone, who we will. Shalom, Mahasala, Bakiyah, Mawafla, Babash, Shalom.